Hello guys and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to look at pagination in Angular and how you can implement pagination. So in this video, I just want to demonstrate the pagination here. I had already created a simple application here to demonstrate what pagination is. And you can see here we have this in uh, here that says previous and next. So if we click next, you can see here we go to the other page where we have the number from 6 to 10. So the first page has 1 to 5 and the other page has from 6 to 10. So it is showing five, five numbers or five numbers in every uh, page. And when you click to the other page, it will show you the next uh, five numbers. So this is what we are going to implement and I will show you how to use this pagination in Angular. And in Angular this is one of the simplest things that to implement and features to implement. So the main advantage of pagination is that you don't have to scroll, you don't have to get the uh, data from the database and then list it in the page uh, so that you have uh, infinite scroll. You don't want your maybe your customers or people who are visiting your application or website to just scroll down to just scroll infinitely so that you can show other things like let's say footer and any anything else so this one is great because maybe you have one million products in your uh, database you can't list them on the same page because the uh, the patient or uh, the users will not be able or we not be in a position to just go through them they will be getting tired really really quickly and if you have section like footer they won't be able to reach there so without much ado let's get into today's video So already here I had created another application for Angular and this application is just a uh, blank. It has only this default page here that comes with the Angular when you generate a new application. So first thing first that I want to do is to open it and to look at this app app.component.html uh, because this is the one that generate this page here that, that shows us this page here. So what we can do now, we can select everything here and then delete. Uh, if you delete and then save on it, you will see that this page will be blank because we had already removed the code that show us this, that page that is. So to test it and to show if this application works. So what we'll do, we just create uh, anything. Uh, let's, let's add here anything for my example here i just add a h3 heading yeah and see there is no auto completion here so let me create a tag so this is a tag here and here i say pagination pagination just like that so let me save and see if we can see it on the page so in the page here you can see we have this pagination so the other thing that i want us to do is to i want to center this pagination so let's come here and select h3 because this uh want to just display flex and to align item center also i just want to justify content to be center also just like that so i want to increase the font size to 30 pixels so 30 pixels so let's save and see how it will look so in here we can see we have pagination here so we have this pagination here so the other thing that i want us to look at is uh, how now to add the pagination or how to use pagination so when you want to use pagination in angular and to make work easier you can only come here and look for this package ngx pagination so in here let's reload and you can see what you need to do here this is a full documentation so you can copy this here uh, this command here and then in terminal inside that application just paste it and then let it install so if you look here at this pagin uh, at this 
module here you can see we don't have uh, we don't have the code that we can look and we can read from so what you need to do you can see here in this repository here for this github you can see this uh, github account for michael bromed bromedy so you can just click on it and uh, let us go here i saw that this uh, experience really really good so here you can see what you need to do actually uh, this uh, github account has already done the whole process for you so the first thing is to install and that's what we have uh, we are we are doing so if you come here it has already it has already installed that package so the other thing that we need to do is to add this ngx pagination module to import it and then we'll add it in here in this import so for example for for a case as uh, for a case we will add it in the let me open this code so we will add it here because this is the module that our this is the module that our component that we are using here uh, is added to because you can see here let's look at this we have this app component and this is what we are using so the first thing that we can do we can come here i think it will auto uh, 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 it will auto import for us so i'll say ng pagination you can see there is no auto completion for us so what i will do i'll just uh, copy this here all of it so copy it and then inside this code here i will just paste it here so the other thing uh, because i want to make our work easier let's come here and copy this also so copy this and inside here okay inside this code here we can add this uh this ngx uh, ngx pagination module here so to do that now we need to go ahead and look the other things that you should do so the first thing first that you can do you can see here you need to have um, data that you want to look through and to get that uh, data and list them to the uh, our, our template that is and our template is that is component app dot component dot html so i'll just copy everything inside here because i would just want to demonstrate it really really quickly so in here come here and in our template that is app dot component dot html inside here first of all i want to create a div and this div i'll give it a paginate class here and then paste everything here but right now you can see we need to have this comp uh, collection and collection here is a collection of data it might have come from database or you can define it inside this component so let's continue and look at this uh, documentation and you can see here now in our component we need to add this p that is a number and also we need to add this collection that is array of uh, array of things or data that is so copy this so we have copied this one here and now inside let's look here inside this one here we can add them here so this one here so you can see now the error is gone but right now you can see here because we don't have this array that is called some array of things that's why we have this error so you can eliminate it and add now an actual array so i just add numbers right now and here actually i can add seven eight nine and ten so let me first of all uh, save and then see how our project look like so in here it has already loaded and if you look here you can see we have this here we have this listing here it has looped through and when it is looping through it is adding this here like this this uh, three dots here and also for this dot here is added uh, because of that ri tag that is so in here let's go and look where this is coming from so you can see here these dots here three three dots 
is this one here. They are this one that you can see here. So right now I want to do string interpolation so that I show the item itself. So we have that string interpolation. So here I want to list item that is and our item like when you're looping through that array, our item will there be numbers. These numbers are these ones here. You can see them here. So after we have added them, now you can just come here in our application and just check. So when it loads, you can see now we have our numbers here from one uh, to 10 here. So now I want to show you how to activate this Pagina uh, this uh, pagination here, but first of all, I want to center it so that it come here. Uh, it should be here at the center here. So the same thing that we did with our but this H3 tag here, that's what we will do. So I will just copy this class here and then target it in our CSS. So in our CSS here, I want to add this and then I will copy this and uh, copy this and then I will add it here. So I have added it there and here also I will do flex direction column just like that. So let it save and then let's look at our application here. So you can see our application here and actually I can just uh, reduce the size, the font size here to be 20. I'll just also add font weight here to be 900. You can see it here. So I have I have now reduced the font size. So you can see here it is. Yeah, so but right now you can see our pagination doesn't work. And let's look at why it doesn't work. So in here and in our template here, if you look here, you can see it shows that it needs to have uh, 10 items per page so meaning if we have 10 pages there is no need for the second page so what you can do in order to show you the next page right here we have these 10 items so if i will add one here it should have another page that is showing 11 here it will have another one the first page will show from 1 to 10 and the other one will show 11 and if I add, it will just add them in the second page. And when they reach 10, it will add another page that is page 3, that is. So it's like hiding and unhiding. So let's look at our application now and let it save and then reload. So you can see already it is uh, been activated. So when you click here, you can see you go to 11. So let's add like another from 11 let's say to oh let me remove uh okay this is not the code okay now here what i can do now i want to show five items per page so i can add here five or add it five here and what you can see here what you'll see here is that it will show like one two three four five and the second page will show six seven eight nine ten and the other page you can guess what it will show it will just show 11 so you can see how this pagination work and this is one of the things that makes me uh, really enjoy using angular because first uh, first thing first is that you don't need to do like pagination to your backend it's really is you need to just get the data from a backend and now you can you can manage that data in pagination in your front end using a very simple manner so you can see here also that pagination uses a pipe that is called paginate and if you know angular you know what paginate uh, pipe does it, it just transform the data from one form to the other so it takes the data and then transform it and then output that data that is being uh, that is transformed so that's what i wanted to show you guys in this video so the other thing even you, uh, that you can do here if uh, you can use strings you can do anything that you want like right now for example let me come here in your css and uh, let me i'll uh, say uh, restyle to be none this uh, i want to be none so let's show you yeah 
So after it has loaded, you can see we don't have even those dots because I have uh, removed that style uh, that comes by default with that li tags so now the other thing that i want to do uh, to show that is not only number that you can use is uh when you come here you can add something like let's say you are routines let me say sleeping i uh, let's say eating eating uh let's say watching and then let's say hiking hiking here you have reading and also you have something like walking and then uh, uh, crying although there is nobody who cries every day or uh, their crying is not a routine that is you can say something like um, touring let's say add here and also we need to add this too we can add essay um in sweeping or sweeping just like or cleaning that is cleaning and then the other one is driving you can say driving the last one here we can add um let's add something like uh um let's say add uh, or, or even let's say uh talking uh let me or chatting this is there so even any data that you have can work with it so i can see here we have error and this is because we removed this square bracket here so after that now you can just come here wait for it to reload and you can see we have this here so you can do everything that you want any data that you get from the database from you can just use them and you can just use any data you can see your pagination work really did really nice so in coming project or the project that i have done i had already used the pagination and you can go back and look at them so without much ado let me uh, end my tutorial here if you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe, like this video and share to those people that you think they will be, uh, this video will be helpful to. So see you in the next video.